everybody it's your boys tunes sorry for the audio quality again from my headset unfortunately i do not have my microphone at this time i hopefully by the next couple of episodes that comes out sometime next week i'll have a new microphone but anyways uh we're going to be reacting with my brother lion we're going to be reacting to three hor short horror films today the lion introduce yourself real quick this is your boy lion yep hey baby <laughs> hey baby <laughs> All right. I don't know what that was, but all right. So the first one we're going to be reacting to is called uh, Eden, short horror film. So yep. let's just get into it. Let's get right into it. Just real quick, off topic, that's good advice. Don't wait, correct? If you guys and gals have creative ideas to express yourself, either drawing, writing, or anything else along those natures, go ahead and give them a shot. Me, myself, is starting to write video games, dialogues, and stuff. So, and you know, I create content for YouTube. So, go ahead. And exactly. Y'all better knuckle up. <laughs> I believe that's IA8 is the studio that created this or YouTube channel. But again, I'll have all the links in the bottom below. Less of the bishop's garden, but sound in the down, and only then they feel the wrath of Eaton. Will bait souls of the dam. You said sound of the dam. I did not say sound of the dam. All right. <laughs> and only then will they feel the wrath of Eden. This right here. Just that feeling that we start shaking. Mhm. Then drop the keys. How nobody else noticed that? We all drunk. Bro, that was a loud as bang. I noticed that. Wait, what? <laughs> so he just unlocked him with the phone? <laughs> oh, that was okay. That wasn't the keys to the car. That was the keys to the. Hey, y'all, hold up. I'm finna go. I think I left my key outside. I'll be right back. I think I left my key. Don't leave me. There ain't no way this man's that blind. Them shoes are fresh, boy. Man, you know what? They just fresh. Like they well, with those the LeBron Conquerors? Damn, she bad. I don't know. She's like that. <laughs> she got a sister. Check on DJ before somebody think he homeless. <laughs> what? DJ, 
DJ? Did the DJ out? Bro, he got... <laughs> DJ! <laughs> Damn. Like, there was no subtlety to that at all. Time to get back to the crib. Back to the car. Jason. Yeah, go get the homies and get the straps. Get the strap. Ellie. 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 Yep. Should have stayed in the car. Put the Nikes on! Put the Nikes on! Bro, you ain't not, you're not out running <laughs> Damn. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh, my goodness. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the moral of the story is don't trust beautiful women late at night after you get drunk. Just go home. Man. But at least we know. But yeah, I want y'all to notice something. No black person fail. Not one black person fail. It was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, child. We'll be right back. All right. All right. This one's called Home Alone. I was only 10 years old that year and my parents worked far away, so I had to stay at my grandmother's house for a while. My grandfather passed away a few years ago, so she lived alone. When she heard that I was coming to stay, my grandmother was very happy. She loved me very much and took good care of me, but I was a very rude child. I frankly disparaged the food she cooked because it was not delicious. I was also very harsh on a few other things that made her very sad. Bro, I do not like this, like, smacking sound in my ear. Like, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, well, stop! Is, is, <laughs> well, well, letting people eat, bro. <laughs> Looking back on that period in my life, that was in the countryside and was quite interesting. After dinner, I and a few neighborhood kids played around. My grandmother and her friends would sit and chat while watching us. That evening, my grandmother needed to take some things to my aunt. She told me to come home earlier and look after her house. But she was gone for a long time, about two to three hours, and it was getting dark outside. The children who played with me all had to go back home to go to bed already. So leaving only myself and a few older people sitting around. There was no one to play with, so I went back home. Since I was home alone, I decided to close every door. When I finished, I waited all by myself. After waiting for my grandmother for a while, I started getting tired and fell asleep. It was about 9 o'clock in the evening and she still hadn't come home yet. As I fell asleep, I started to hear noises inside of the house. I heard someone walking around, but the footsteps were very light. At first I thought my grandmother might have been back, and that's when I woke up and I thought again that something might have been wrong, because her footsteps was not light at all. Right. I wondered if it was a thief, and I was thinking about what to do next when I heard a man call someone else's name. This person's voice sounded very sad, and the last syllable was still lingering from afar and near, making me shiver. The man came out of the kitchen, and his legs were hovering in the- Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> What bro, do you mean? <laughs> that is bro. bro, what would you do if you see some crap like that? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna wish that, bro. You need some lotion. <laughs> Yo, you gonna start. You need some lotion. 
lose. Uh, nah. <laughs> before, I, before I die. Oh, <laughs> uh, nah, bro. The air suddenly lifted the curtain as I was scared to death. The figure of the older man with eyes. But what that mouth do? Bulging, his dry smile and hideous whisper still haunts me to this day. I was so scared that I buried my head in the blanket to hide, and I cried without a sound, scared, clenching my fists and whispering to my Watch grandmother to come side. back soon. Even so, I could still sense that the ghost was doing something. He seemed to be wandering around the house, calling out someone's name and searching for things. Then seemingly finding nothing, he slowly returned to the kitchen. I don't know where I got the courage from, but as soon as I heard silence, I decided to open the window and get out of there. As I walked out the door, I dared to cry, and as I ran, I cried and cried for my life. Unfortunately, my grandmother had not yet returned. She was probably still spending time with people nearby. Seeing me crying like that, the ladies in the street immediately asked me what happened. I panicked and told everyone what happened. The information I gave them confused all of them. Well, yeah. One of the men in the neighborhood picked up some sticks and went to my grandmother's house. He searched everywhere with his friends, looking inside and outside, but not seeing anything strange like I did. A neighbor asked me again if the door was closed or not, and how could outsiders get in if it was? And even if they did, they couldn't get out so quickly. They asked me if I'm sure I wasn't dreaming. I knew I wasn't dreaming, and I assured them that the ghost was looking for someone named Bella. The neighbors told me that Bella was the name of my grandmother. This I did not know. The lady next door kept asking me what the eccentric man was looking for in my grandmother's house. She and a few others found it a bit strange. Seeing me alone was also not good, so a few people stayed with me to wait for my grandmother to return. After a while, my uncle appeared. He took me to the hospital to see my grandmother because while she was away she had a heart attack and had to be hospitalized for urgent treatment. On the way I was very nervous. At the hospital, I quickly ran to the room where she was lying. My grandmother's health had stabilized. I told her what happened. You know what? Could that ghost have been like a dead lover? I think so. I think it's, it's probably the grandfather. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. ...happened at their house, and everyone was stunned, not knowing if it was an omen because at the time the strange man appeared to me. That was exactly the same time my grandmother was receiving emergency heart treatment. Mm. All right. That one was scary, it was just more... Creepy. Creepy, but more mysterious, like, it, more suspenseful. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it a good story. Happy birthday. Happy no. birthday. Don't sing any happy uh, Actually, you can actually get a uh, sued for singing happy birthday. Only been two bars, so. I'm just saying, you can actually get sued for singing happy birthday. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, there's a, uh, I don't know if they still do it, but the person who created happy birthday hire somebody, or the people who own the right to the happy birthday song hire somebody <laughs> to go around to like Chuck E. Cheese and then people would be singing happy birthday to their kids or whatever, and the guy would slap like a uh, suing uh, no, uh, documentation on them while they're singing happy birthday to the person. Well, <laughs> I mean, he, the birthday definitely did not create it, but... Yeah, I'm just saying, like, the person who owns the right to it, yeah. that they would hire people to go around like the Chuck E. Cheese and um, sue people. It was It was weird. But anyways, let's dive in. We off to a good start. We off to a good start. Are we? That that's a good sign. I don't know. <laughs> you 
one for one right now. Oh, so you said the second one was not good? The second one was not good. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, crow's feet. Well, they have fixed it. Oh, y'all yeah, finna get sued. <laughs> 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 I said you had to sing it. The phone was singing in text form. Oh wow! You, you didn't hear the bubbles? Is it just me or does it look like wrinkles are starting to add on as she keep messing with her face? It looked like it. It's actually wrinkling around the mouth. That's what I'm saying. From all that cock cock she been doing. Are you the only one here that's a birthday cake that's sitting at your table? You're the only one here that's a birthday cake that's sitting at your table. Another year, you're growing older, your bones are weak, you're feeling colder. Now make a wish and take a bite. Your greatest gift will come tonight. Yeah, no. <laughs> If that's not ominous, I don't know what to tell you. Stop. Don't do it. Ah, Dale Roach! I thought that was on my screen. Why are you screaming like that? <laughs> oh, sorry, the Roach got me. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that counts as a bite? Oh, she bite off her finger. No, it's the frosting. I mean, they're still there, though. But uh, that's that's not how that works. Yeah, you ain't gonna brew that heavy. I thought that was you. I don't, I don't even brew like that when I eat cake. Oh. No, in the middle she was younger, but you said the wrinkles were there. So it aged her 
In real uh, life, uh, uh, <laughs> Not the roach. It was probably her own eyes she just ate. Guys, <laughs> just don't make deals with random entities that y'all don't know. I ain't gonna lie, I still hit it. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> I'm just wondering if something else is gonna happen. I know you can see. That's it. That's it. <laughs> like, I'm just. That's it. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that was a thing. Um. <laughs> that's, that. That made me feel highly uncomfortable. Sorry for the gagging, cause yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to say that. But yeah, um, <laughs> all right. Well, those three random horror videos. Uh, I don't really have too much to. Okay, do it like this. The first one, I like how it just quickly escalated and kind of made it. Um, it just escalated rather quickly. I like that. The second one was just storytelling, which is fine. I it was again lion picked these, so I didn't. I was going into them blind already. I don't know if lion did. No, they were blind for me too. They were blind for you too. Okay, so number two, I liked it as far as the storytelling goes. Just not really. If it's going for a creepy factor, completely good. If it's going for horror, not really a horror. Obviously, it's this one. Um, uh, so the country scared you, so it, it definitely got you. Yeah, this one got me because I there was just a whole lot going on that I wasn't really I mean, expecting. I mean, I mean, that was a creepy-ass cocktail, so you know. Yeah, exactly <laughs> my point. What about you, Brian? <laughs> uh, for me and stuff like that, like I said, second one, it was just more suspenseful, um, mysterious, and scary. The first, like I said, the first one, it escalated real quickly, that slasher. She got to, she got to business real fast. Right. She got to business real fast, but it was just more on a gory side than horror right. and stuff like that. It wasn't. It was just more gory. I wouldn't say horror was really an element there. Right. Maybe not too much. It was, but I, but it wasn't creepy either. It was just more the fact that be careful. Talking to women at night, but like I said, it was just more gory. But yep. this one right here, this little one, this more was more towards the horror. But I like the first, like I said, I like the first one and the second. No, the first one and the third one. First one, that's the, the second one. one. All right. Well, with that being said, um, we ain't got too much else to add. So, with that being said, my name is Toons. This is your boy Lion. About to go get me. I'm about to go see if I can get a chick, get a birthday cake to look just like that. Mm, downtown. <laughs> and as always, stay beautiful, stay handsome. We'll see you next week. We out! Yep! <laughs>